Hello again. Allow me to begin by paraphrasing the famous opening lines of Charles Dickens' novel, A Tale of Two Cities. He began, it, is, it was the worst of times, it was the best of times. The year 2020 might be described as a tale of two time periods, the time before the COVID pandemic and the time afterwards that we are living through now. In some ways, this year has been the worst of times because for eight months, the vast majority of you, our parishioners, have not been able to attend church in person. Have you not, you've not been able the opportunity to receive the Holy Eucharist, to listen to and sing along with our wonderful choirs, or join in fellowship afterwards with lots of coffee and donuts. On the other hand, thanks to your faith and the wonders of Zoom, parishioners have engaged in our parish activities and programs in ways that we never dreamed of. I am indeed grateful for the many ways in which it has been possible for parishioners to engage in the more than 25 Zoom meetings per week, whereby folks gather for parish prayers and programs. All this is possible in ways we never dreamed of. Recently, we placed on our website our annual parish report. It reveals that amongst amount pledged for calendar year 2020 attained an historic high of $3,200,000 and that there were 410 new pledges. In fiscal year 2019-2020, we had increases in our pledges and offertory collections, weddings and sacraments, but decreased in revenue in a religious education program due to the smaller number of students registered. There were still more than 500. On July 1st, the beginning of fiscal year 2021, we recognized through the advice of our Health and Safety Environment Task Force that we would have additional expenditures so as to provide a safe environment for our parish campus and school. We consequently launched a health and safety fund drive with the goal of reaching $150,000 in donations. But we exceeded that amount. Indeed, the latest tabulation is we have received more than $183,000 in this fund. Thank you very much. On the other hand, since July 1st, we have seen a 13% decrease in pledges and a an decrease of 31% alone this past month. One interpretation of the significant decrease is that many parishioners paid their pledge forward in response to our request last spring when we first closed our parish doors to Sunday Masses and therefore had a sharp drop in our offertory collection. With the fall upon us and the winter ahead of us, the trajectory of reduced pledges raises concerns. Moreover, we anticipate that our Christmas collection, our largest collection of the year, will be significantly reduced due to the COVID pandemic restrictions. While we will be having several live liturgies, there will be a maximum number of only 50. We will have them on Zoom and also have a videotape of them. But nevertheless, normally we have more than 2,000 folks attending these eight or nine liturgies every Christmas weekend holiday. We're not going to have them, and hence we have the concerns. To help us continue to weather the financial storms, I ask that you please give to our forthcoming Thanksgiving Tuesday to take place on December 1st. Also, the pledge envelopes have been in the mail. So I ask you that you please return your 2021 pledge. Finally, we will need your financial support, especially over the Christmas holidays. Friends, this is indeed a difficult time for so many. 
the shared anxieties about health and safety, the fatigue of COVID distancing and the restrictions, the increased financial hardship lead, leads one to interpret these past months to be not only challenging, but in some ways the worst of times. But as the annual report discloses and the many programs reveal, our programs demonstrate that Holy Trinity Parish and School have and are meeting the challenge of the times so that we're not only surviving, but thriving. And in this sense, we are experiencing some of the best of times. And so I ask for your continued help in any way that you can. Please help us maintain the amazing momentum in shared ministries. For indeed, one day, when the COVID pandemic is behind us, we will be able to tell an amazing true story of how Holy Trinity made what at first appeared to be the worst of times, the best of times. Thank you for your attention, your generosity, and I wish you and your loved ones a blessed, safe, and happy Thanksgiving. God bless.